Hello and once again, fellow vinyl aficionados. Racer Joe back with you one more time. This is going to be, I don't believe it's a thread response or a challenge or whatever you want to call it. This is let's get some good vibes out in the world for Christian from CGC Vinyl. Had some eye surgery recently, so we want Christian to heal up. We want him to come back and do the great videos that he does. And again, this is all just to give him some positive thoughts, some positive vibes. So this is all going to be songs about eyes. There's Christian's channel right there. There it is, CGC Vinyl. Make sure that you check it out. It will be in the place that you look for links for channels, as they always are. Jacob also has done a response, whatever you want to call it for this. It's also very good. Make sure you go and check that out. But without further ado, I'm going to throw a little twist in. A little twist, eh? A eh? from a good Canadian. It's all going to be Canadian bands. Here's one that maybe not a lot of non-Canadians have heard of. Some, uh, some great rock and roll from Eastern Canada. The Killer Dwarves. They were short dudes. They were killer. I wouldn't call them dwarves, but they were good. Great stuff. The Eyes song on here, as that's what we're here to discuss, is... Where'd it go? There it is. Through Animal Eyes. Yikes. That could be good. I guess that would look like below. Wouldn't it? Or, or if you're a giraffe, it would be high. Anyway, up next, um, this is a fantastic song. Comes from a pretty good movie, Roadhouse. Patrick Swayze and crew. Um, comes from a fantastic songwriter, which is John Hyatt. Underrated or underknown. I'm not sure if underrated, because those that know, he's not underrated. Anyway, this is the Jeff Healy Band and their version of Angel Eyes. Great song. Jeff, uh, fantastic, fantastic, I think safe to say a blues guitar player, but a fantastic guitar player. Died far too young, but a great Canadian uh, and a fantastic song, and that is Angel Eyes. I don't need to show you the back, I need to show you the front. There you go, Angel Eyes by the Jeff Healy Band. Okay, up next in the Canadian contingent of songs with the word eyes in them, Christian has been putting up some shorts well, he's not able to do full-blown videos. This was one, but she, uh, so, you know, I wasn't going to use it, but you can't talk about songs with eyes in them and then not talk about these eyes. The Guess Who. For those that don't know, and I'm going to paraphrase it a little bit, as I remember it, as told by Rondi Bachman, um, he was waiting in Regina, I think. I think it was Regina. The city probably changes. Anyway, he was waiting for a girl for a date. He was screwing around on her piano, and he started to play the start of These Eyes, except if I remember correctly, it was going to be These Thighs. He was thinking about the date. I'm not sure. This band I talk about a lot on my channel because they are fantastic. Four albums in now, four uh, full albums, studio albums. They've got some live stuff as well. They've opened up for the Rolling Stones a couple times. I've seen them four times. I would go and see them again tomorrow, and then I'd go and see them the next day again. The Glorious Sons out of Kingston, Ontario. Very, very good. Gris, great Canadian rock and roll period. Uh, rock and roll period. Not Canadian, but they just happen to be. Uh, the Eyes song on here is Wild Eyes. Not to be confused with... The Stampeders, also Canadian, and also with a song called Wild Eyes. Not the same. The same title, but not the same song. Really good stuff. <laughs> Three of these guys are still getting her done, too. The drummer has to take a break every couple of songs. Admittedly, he just sits there for a bit. You guys just, just talk amongst yourselves. I'll be okay in a second or two. But they're still getting it done. All right, here's one that I probably won't get a lot of chance to bring up, unless we're talking about good classic Canadian rock from the 70s that not maybe many people have heard of, but it is Hellfield. There you go. Uh, look at those guys. They got some, they got some nice hair going on. Everybody had lots of hair. I don't think I even had hair in the 70s, and I would have been in my teens still at that point. Anyway, Hellfield, and the song on here is I Should Have Seen It In Your Eyes. So there you go. There is another great Canadian band with eyes in the title. This one I might get a little pushback on. I might get a little argument. Feel free to uh, put that in the comments, but uh, we are not here to argue. We are here to enjoy ourselves. So we can discuss whether or not you're wrong if you don't think this is a Canadian band, because this is the band, and this is The Last Waltz. Great stuff. 
What do I need to say about the last waltz? Zero. You know it all. But the song on here, nice booklet from the last waltz, is, where'd it go? There it is. Dry your eyes. There you go. From the last waltz. The Martin Scorsese film, The Band's Farewell. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff. I love that album. Very good. Okay. Band out of uh, British Columbia, Canada. Not a lot of success. Pretty good with this first album. And then just didn't do a whole heck of a lot after that. But I thought they were very good. I saw them in concert a couple of times. And Barney Bentall and the Legendary Hearts. Barney's son is out performing now as well. I'm not sure if he's out with Barney or he's out on his own. Or maybe a combination of both. But uh, very good stuff. Uh, again, worthy of checking out if you're out there. You know, if nothing else, you're already on YouTube. Go and give some of this stuff a little bit of a listen and see what you think. Then maybe go and hopefully find it on vinyl if you choose, CD, etc. But Pale Blue Eyes, the song by Barney Bentall and the Legendary Hearts. I got two to go. Two to go. I think I'm going to be under 10 minutes. This is one of my favorites. This is a fantastic song. This probably got some airplay in the United States. I'm not sure if it would have got any um, overseas or not, but great stuff. Paul Hyde and some dude named Bob Rock that you may have heard of. Producer. Did a couple albums. Anyway, this is the Paola's, um, their second album. I think they had an EP and then they had this. Anyway, Eyes of a Stranger. You know it. You've heard it. You know it. You love it. Maybe you don't. I do. It's good. Now, to finish it off, I'm going to give you a double shot of both the song and the album have the word eyes in them. Although, you know, um, no, I don't think any of the other ones did. So, this is going to be the double. And this is going to be the great Canadian band out of Vancouver and BC, the rest of BC. I think mostly Vancouver, though. And this is Prism and See Forever Eyes. Good, good stuff. Great. Just 70s rock and roll. Really good stuff. There's the boys on the back. There's Ron Tabak. Unfortunately, Ron has passed away. But, uh, you know, Alan, Al Harlow, still getting her done. Still out there doing the prison thing. But, uh, yeah, see forever eyes. So there you go. So let's put some positive uh, vibes out into the world for Christian from CGC Vinyl. Hopefully he is going to heal up. Hopefully he's going to get back to doing the videos that we all enjoy. So, again, some good thoughts and some positive vibes out there for Christian from CGC Vinyl. Keep your eyes on the prize. See ya.